Hi everyone, today I would like to give more information in case your dental chair is not moving up and down or the backrest is not moving back and forward. So please check it out. There are different situations that can cause malfunction of the dental chair movement. So we need to analyze which one is the one that occur in your clinic. The first one, it can be that the activation switch that is installed on the main board of the control panel on the doctor's side has some faulty. So we need to disconnect that cable and see if the chair is moving itself. If the dental unit is not moving at all and when you press one of the buttons for the movement is giving a sound only, so it gives beep beep and that's it. So the chair is not moving at all. In this case can be this cable and of course at the end of the cable there is also a valve that is the one that activate or disactivate this function on the unit. This function is normally when the chair perform correctly it means that you cannot move the chair while the doctor is operating but in case the valve has some problems by disconnecting the cable you can avoid this function of the unit. Of course it has to be temporary until you solve the problem. The second issue that you can find is when dental unit is moving but is not reaching the maximum and the minimum level so it's stopping somehow middle way. In this case is probably the program on the main board at the chair base that um, have been compromised and so in this case we need to remake the reset of the dental unit. To do this we have a specific video that you can watch of how to make the reset. What is important is the first step because you need to hold the set button for at least 30-40 seconds until the chair goes in a reset mode. This operation of resetting the chair can be done once per year, twice per year if there is some fault in the electrical system of the clinic but it's not an operation that you can done every week or every day because in case this problem is happening frequently we need to replace the main board of the chair base that is the one that is giving this problem. Another important tip when you do the reset and of course you need to follow correctly the instruction that I said before in the video that we link in the description here is that that when you reach the maximum level it's better if before setting that position you come down a couple of centimeters in order that the motor is not working fully at the end of his potential so it's better if he's working one or two centimeters less so you reach the upper limit and you go down just a bit and the same for the lower position of the seat and the backrest as well you reach the limit the lower one and then you come up a little bit in this way the motor is not working fully and is better because it doesn't create any possible alternative problems to the dental unit. Well we see two types of problems that can happen but one can be also the motor, the motor for the movement of the backrest and the chair itself. Normally this happens when the chair is moving up a little bit and then you need to press again the up button or the down button but it's moving just a little bit and no more so this can be surely the motor that is not working or sometimes it gives the problem as we said at the beginning so the chair is moving but only to a certain point so if by doing the reset you don't solve the situation we can check the motors to check the motor before removing them from the dental chair that is a quite complex situation you can switch at the chair base we have two connectors one for the motor of the seat the other one for the motor of the backrest if you switch these two cables and you insert in the opposite way so you just invert them in this way we can check by pressing the control panel of the doctor if the chair backrest is moving back and forward or if the problem remain as before. So I try to be a bit more clear. Normally when we press the upper button we move the motor of the chair but if we switch at the base when we press the upper button we are now moving the backrest. So we can see immediately if the problem just transfer to the other motor in that case is the main board that has the problem. In case the problem remain on the same motor or on the same movement then the problem is in the motor itself. In this way we can easily identify where is the problem. Is the motor or is the main board? In the case the problem is the main board we can replace it. In case is in the motor we can also replace the 
the motor but when you do this operation there is another tip the motor it's working when it's helped by um, gas spring on the side I'm talking about the motor that lift up the chair you have one motor and the gas spring the gas spring is the one responsible to help the motor by lifting it up if the gas spring is broken is the one that is causing the problem to the motor in this case you need to ensure when you remove the motor but please follow the instruction because you need to put the dental chair in a secure position first of all you can easily see if the gas spring is working or not because if it's working it's very easy to lift up the dental unit even if you are in one person if it's not working the dental chair is impossible to lift up because way too much so in that case you need to remove the gas spring replace the gas spring as well and then replace the motor because the motor got the mage because of the gas spring it was not working when you do this operation of checking is better if the dental chair is uh, in a very up position because we have the full extension of the gas spring so in case you need to remove it we can easily disconnect without a big effort it will be much easier to do this operation the fourth thing that can cause the problem of the chair that is not moving correctly or there is some issue can be related to the control panel that we have on the different part of the chair so it can be the control panel of the doctor tray the assistant tray or the pedal if you have the switch on the pedal or on the back of the chair if one of these is a damage or it has some issue like some button cannot be pressed correctly it can be the cause of the problem if one button is pressed this can be the cause of the chair not moving because you cannot touch other buttons around or can give some malfunctionality on the dental chair in general so how we can identify that the problem is one board or the other and um, actually it's quite simple because you can simply disconnect the board for example I'm working near the doctor tray I see that there is a problem I can disconnect the doctor board and see if the chair move correctly by using the assistant board or the switch pedal and in this way I eliminate one board at least if I still have the problem I reconnect the board on the doctor tray and I disconnect the one in the assistant tray so by doing this on the three board that we have on the dental unit we can easily identify what is the problem if it's one or the other when you do this operation in case you have the spare parts it's also easy to disconnect and connect the spare part or the part that you have without removing the old board and uh, replacing the new board you can do even outside so you remove you put the connector in the board that you have in your hand and then you can press the buttons from there i really hope that all these four tips and situation that you can face are better explain now at the same time you need to experience a bit by doing some tests yourself but if you need more information you can simply contact us our team is super efficient in providing information and technical solution so in case you have any issue you control this video you check that everything that I said you have done but in case it's not solving you can easily contact us on whatsapp and we send direct video specifically to your solution or we can have you even a video call. So thank you for watching this video and see you next time.